Well, maybe it'll show up when you do that. Here we come, Carolyn. Get it. I thought it was funny. <laughs> hey, guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Yeah, old Vinny's here. We back. Uh, and I'm hey, wet. Hey. We just ran in from outside, and my hair is wet, and y'all just have to... I just said to Vince, my friends won't judge me, right? Yes, they Don't, will. Yes, y'all will judge my hair. Don't judge my hair. It's rough. Looks bad. I know it. It's all right. It ain't the end of the world. Look at this picture. So several of y'all called it. Several called it. Well, you know. It just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It just does. It's the last day of October. It's really earlier than you normally put that in there. It is. But, you know, it's good timing. Vince said last night, um, he said, no, I was looking at Instagram and I said to you, a lot of people have called it. That's going to be October's picture. And you said, well, you know, tomorrow is technically the last day of October. You could do it early. I said, oh, I plan to. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, Vince and I just got back from a trip to Texas. Yeah, we did. Where we that did not work. I don't want to do that. It's crooked. Where we did lots of fun things, including Decorators Warehouse, but we saw Addie while we were there. Let me trim this down because I messed up the bottom. Um, we got to see Addie and Jared and Sam and the new baby on the way, if you can call that seeing it. I rubbed her tummy, so she's on her way. She's in there, right? Um, and this was a picture we took at the pumpkin patch. And it was so funny because at one point I looked at Vince and said, we were at the pumpkin patch with our granddaughter. It was yeah, the most we awesome day. It was freezing, freezing cold and, and raining. And sprinkling rain. And raining. And what was in Texas is now here in Alabama. Yeah, so we brought it home for you guys. I hope you like it. <laughs> well, if you live in Alabama, we brought it home. We brought you. it home. Um, if you live in Texas, we took it away from you. So real quick, because I always get questions, and I like to start with this in the video, because if you're coming to me and watching the replay, I'm going to be doing my desk calendar page today. If you remember, this is my calendar we made back in January, and it is the desk calendar turned mini album. So by the time I'm finished, this will be a mini album, and it works like this, okay? This is when it's closed as a mini album, but it has this flap that's magnetic. This piece turns around to the back side like so, and when it does, this bottom piece flaps up, I'll do it sideways, and magnets to the back and creates the back stand so you can have your um, calendar all year long. So y'all always want to flip through. So here we go. January, February. Are you going to tell them what each one was? You want me to? Well, I think that'd be appropriate. January was the Big Cat Tournament, which we're playing in again this year. I noticed on the schedule we're playing in that again. Yep. And this is because <laughs> this picture... Uh, Thomas won like MVP or all game or do you remember? No. Something. I think it was in tournament MVP. Probably something like that. And jo and the team won, so they had the trophy, right? Well, Joseph did not win MVP. He just wanted to uh, put the trophy in front of Thomas's face, and I love those kind of pictures. Joe hates this picture, by the way. Um, this is from our cruise in February. Can you believe it's been that long cruise. ago? Wow. In February. Karen says it's thirty four this morning. Oh, thirty four. They're in Texas. This was um. On the Norwegian Epic. That was the ship we were on. You did good. I'm surprised you remember. I remember because I'm never booking that ship again. Never again. <laughs> the ship itself was not bad. The rest of the ship, our room was bad. Like the rooms yeah, were laid out really poorly. Room. Like everybody talked about that. So we won't book that one again. But this was our cruise. Um, this is Mr. Big Ears. So if you don't know, Mr. Big Ears was the first stamp set I ever created. And I had put it into retirement because I didn't like it. And you guys asked me to bring it back. Um, and so we brought it back. And this was the month we brought it back. So and this you is, brought out a 2.0 that same month. Right. This Big is Ears. the mixture of Mr. Big Ears plus Mr. Big Ears 2.0. Because it's kind of like what I would do with Mr. Big Ears if I was designing it now. So this is from the original. This is from the original. But this is from 2.0. Love it. This is our girl turning one, and this is my favorite picture of her ever, even to this day. Oh, well, I don't know. I have another one in her stuff we did this the weekend. But this, though, I love this, where she's just like, thank you, Lord, for cake. That's what it reminds me of. Well, Miriam, we wish you could have came to Decorator's Warehouse, oh, too. So we good. had a, a big time. These are my boys graduating in May of this year. This is Jared, who graduated with his master's, and this is Thomas, who graduated with his high school diploma. And um, that was in May. 
And then this is Nick Saban. For those of you who don't know, he is the Alabama football coach. This is my dad. And it was so funny because dad got his picture made with Nick Saban and he he look at him. Just have you ever seen a happier man? I don't think I saw pictures of him that happy when his children were born. <laughs> or when he got married. Or when he got married. So he was so excited about this. And the funny thing was my brother and my mom and I took this picture and put it on everything for Father's Day. Literally, he got literally he got mugs everything. and pillows and he got a teddy bear that had a t shirt wearing this shirt. Like he got all kinds of stuff. It was funny. Then this one. I love this one. Just looking at you in this picture, I love it. That was a happy moment. This was um, the video Vince did where the biscuits exploded. Um, this video was called Biscuit Pizza Bake. If you haven't seen it, go to his channel, Vinny's Vittles, and look at this. When that biscuit can exploded, it was hilarious. It really was funny. So funny. This is Craft Acropolis. This is our event we did in August here in Alabama. And this is a picture from that. I love how this whole page turned out. I like flipping back through the pages. It's so much fun. Well, it just brings back memories. It does. And it's this is such a cool idea. Y'all need to make these for gifts. I'm telling you, these are the way to go right here. This is our Downton Abbey Day that we did in September where we all went to the tea and we dressed with our um, fascinators on. And I just thought it was a lot of fun. It was in September. We had a good time and today we do October so let me take October out I love this in two months this is done uh, this has really been a fun project I love I'm totally doing one for 2020 oh yeah 100 I think I'll do one uh, Mandy said to me that she's found what she's going to be doing for her memory keeping and I got to be honest with y'all this little um what would you call it? what do they call it on sports tv when they do like the highlights like the highlight reel yeah. This is like a highlight reel from 2019, and I love it. I love it. And honestly, if I had two big events in one month, I could do front and back, or I could do two pages for that month. But still, only having to do one page for the month doesn't put any pressure on you, and you get to enjoy. That little book's going to be so much fun to look back on over the years. So well, the when we, A lot of people talk about the weather. When we left Texas, it was rainy and chilly, and I wore a sweatsuit. When I got to Alabama, it was 79 degrees, muggy, hot, horrible. This morning when we woke up, it was 70 degrees. At lunchtime, it was 52. And the temperature is continuing to drop. Oh, it's freezing. Excuse me one moment. Talk about yourself. <laughs> so, but anyway, we had a great time at Decorators Warehouse and uh, we had a blast, and it was great seeing those of you that were able to come out and see us. So if you've not seen this album before, this is the month that stamped using our never-ending calendar, the large never-ending calendar. So I made this for the year, and I really do use this, by the way. I have this sitting right here by my um, filming space so I can look over and see the dates, and I love it. But what I did was I made it so that I could take photos throughout the year and cover that up. In October, I was smart. I did the colors and they work. And I tell you something else I'm going to do next year with my calendar a little different. And we'll talk about that when I actually make one. I'm going to be more like this. Because y'all know I call this a solid anyway, right? This is this one's actually not a solid. But I'm going to be more like color themed and not pattern themed. Because a lot of you guys will know that last um, year, for example. We're going to create in just a second, I promise. But let me show y'all this. So, for example, um, this month, August. I did August in a barbecue theme underneath here but when it came time to put this in I changed it so I think what I'll do is do more like this like I didn't change the stars in July you know what I'm saying so I'm going to do more of a neutral like I didn't change that um I did change this so instead of doing like pattern backgrounds that are month related I'm just going to do colors and even probably neutral colors so anything I do um I won't have to change I don't mind changing the page I don't mind adding to it but like, this is awesome. I don't have to do anything but decorate. Right? You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I mean, because it actually matches it's perfectly perfect. well. It's perfect. So, we're going to do that. And I want to put... This is from the stamp set Wheelie Full Wagon. Here's Wheelie Full Wagon. I'm going to use the wagon. I don't think I'm going to use the buffalo check. I was going to, but I think I'm not. Use the wagon. I'm going to use Pick of the Patch. And I think I'm going to use this big old pumpkin and add here because I think it'll be super cute. So, let me do that real quick. Let me get started. Y'all are like, please get started. Enough chitter chatter enough all right my pumpkin needs to be an unusual color i'm gonna do this cream color now <laughs> just miss jones already started but i was gonna go is that a solid or a plan? this is a solid pumpkin 
It's not mm-hmm. solid. It That's is, not. but it's not. You guys even did that to me at Decorators. We were um, walking around, and a lot of the subscribers were there. It's so fun to shop with the subscribers. And um, people were walking around going, okay, is that a solid or a plaid? They're, like, asking me what I was doing with things and stuff. Yeah. It was funny. It was funny. Oh, I haven't been here in forever. Seven days. I'm trying to find stuff. Seven days, y'all. It's a long time to be out of your craft room. Well, seven. Da- I just decided seven days is too long to be anywhere. We have decided that. <laughs> Except home. It's true. A staycation, seven days at home. Seven would be days fun. staycation. Yeah, seven days is with. hard to be away from home that long. So, all right, I'm going to cut this out, but let me just do this number right here first. I'm going to let that sit over there for a minute, and then we'll come back and do some fussy cutting. Um, I want to do the wagon, and I think I'm going to do it in the red. Y'all know how much I love. I'm going to see if I have any scraps of the red already cut. I don't. Y'all know how much I love mixing all these. I love it. I just can't get enough of it. Mm-hmm. I just can't get enough. I know a lot of y'all are like, okay, enough with the ginghams, enough with the plaids. But they're cute, y'all. They're so cute. All right, let's do our wagon. And again, you got to do you. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Can I tell how much I love this nail polish color on camera? How gorgeous. Look at that. It's pretty, pretty on neat. camera. Pretty neat. I'm loving Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking me about them. I'm doing the Color Street nails. I have a link in the description to my rep, who happens to be Lacey that works here. That's who I get mine from. Her link is in the description. And I'm going to tell you something. I, I Last night, when I got back from... My other ones lasted two full weeks. And last night, when we got back from Texas, I went into my room, and I took my old ones off, and I pushed my cuticles back and came into work this morning and did my nails in 10 minutes. I don't even think it took me 10 minutes, actually. So, I'm loving it. There's my wagon. There's my pumpkin. Um, I think I'm going to put an arm on this wagon real quick while I've got it there. All right, let's use this. Do I just want to do the straight? Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to use both arms. This little arm I'm going to bring out from here. I think like that. G says he loves your new hairdo. Oh, G. I ain't loving it. It's actually, when it's fixed, it's not the worst, but I got caught in a rainstorm, so all my curl has flattened. Um... But I'm not loving it. But thank you for loving it. Marilyn asks, is that Color Street? They are Color Street. And I love them. I love them. Okay. Wagon. Pick of the patch. Do I want to put it on the inside of there? I think I do. Let's put it in there. Pick o the patch. Uh, block. Blocky. We'll take that one off. We'll pick up pick of the patch. There we go. And then I will stamp it inside my little red wagon. Like so. This morning I was walking through the store and I saw a stamp set and I was inspired in a big, big way. And I showed it to Amber. I'm like, yeah, that's Saturday's video. So Saturday's video is going to be a make a fuss card because I want to do it. It's going to be cute. All right, let's cut this dude out. I might even add some shading to this once I cut it out. Maybe. I don't know. I may not. I didn't use the right ink for alcohol marker shading. But it's not the end of the world. I might ink it. That's what we'll do. We'll ink it. Let's get this guy all cut out. I like to go around and cut the easy parts first before I get into the middles. I'm just going to go through here. Cut like this. Now's a good time for questions since I'm doing all this. Well, it'd be great if we could answer questions, but... The weather is affecting the internet that is on my computer. Oh, no. And I, it has completely gone down. So I can't see the comments. Nor Are you the on video. the right Wi Fi? Check your Wi Fi connection. Uh, Make sure on this one. I don't know that I have the password for this one. If you don't, we need to get somebody to come in here and make that happen for you. I don't have the password for this one. Okay. So can someone come in here and take a photo of this password because it's one of those long, crazy ones? And take it to Vinny so he can put it in his computer. That'd be awesome while I fussy cut. So if you can, I can look. The first thing I see is... Oh, it's scrolling. Hold on. The first thing I see is... I missed it. What's on your nails? What's on my nails is called Color Street. And they are sticker. It's nail polish stickers. And they are so easy to apply. And my last ones lasted me two full weeks. And they would have lasted me longer... 
because I didn't know some tips and tricks that Lacey has taught the girls since I've been gone. And now I could have made them last even longer last night, but I didn't. But there's a link in the description below if you guys want to support Lacey. That's who, she's our graphic designer and she also does Color Street on the side. So there's a link in the description below for her. What's on that? See that yellow sticker? Mm -hmm. If you'll take a picture of that and then give it to him, he can fix it. Our internet up front is obviously going slow because of this rain. All right, another question. Let me look, let me look, let me look. What kind of acrylic blocks are those? They are different looking. They are different. These are by Fiskars, and they are fantastic. They have these little rubber grips on the side, and the way they are made makes stamping so easy. They're some of my very favorites. Matter of fact, I don't use any other blocks anymore. I literally don't. I can't even find any other blocks when I look for them because these guys are amazing. See these little rubber grips? And the way they are made, you see that? They're so easy to hold. If you have hand dexterity issues, if you're like me and you shake, you can put your thumbs in the side like this and put a little tension going out like that, and it helps you to get nice, straight, um, less shaky stamping. I love my blocks. They are Fiskars. I'm sure somebody will link them here for you guys in just a second. We carry them in the store. That was that question. Let me look at the next one. Oh, it shot up. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there's that, there's that. May May, how far back do I have to go for Scan and Cut 2 video? I don't know. I don't remember. Probably the first of the year. Seems like it was around the first of the year when I did the Scan and Cut 2. No, uh, that was DX. Again. Scan and Cut 2 is before that. So probably, I don't know. But if you go to my channel, there's a search bar at the top. And you can just put in Scan and Cut or Scan and Cut 2 or... Uh, whichever, and it'll pull up any videos that are related to that. I haven't used my Scan and Cut in a while. But I haven't made anything like, I haven't made multiples of anything, so sometimes I don't worry about it when I'm not making multiples. Look how cute this is going to be on here. Pick of the patch. I am going to ink it. I think I'm going to get in there and do something real crazy too. Do I want to? Yes, I do. I'm going to cut this section out too because it won't be hard. It's a straight line and a straight line and a straight line. Uh, not so crafty. Ask about your stamp sets and where she can get those. Uh, not so crafty. Those are available at our website at www.maymaymadeit.com, and those stamp sets are designed uh, by May May and our staff, and they are available online. So you can pick those up. We ship internationally. We ship all over the world. So if you want them, you can have them. Um. What's the other thing? All right, I saw. All right, keep looking because I saw Fisker's block. I got back to Scanning Cut Two question. There were some more questions coming in too. All right, so let's cut our pumpkin. Just get this little dude cut out. I don't like to talk when I cut because I like to pay attention. Uh, well, Jackie, scared. it was really nice for us to get to meet you and your husband at Decorators as well. We had a great time there, and uh, it was a blessing getting to meet everybody that was able to make it out. So uh, there's a link from Shannon on the Scanning Cut 2 video. So uh, if you want to see that, you can just click on that link, and it will tape, uh, take you directly to it, and you'll be able to see it. Here's my pumpkin. It's going to go right there. That's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's glue these two together. I know. Oh, how's my glue gonna do after seven days? Seven days it. without me. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Let's just see. Hey, that ain't too shabby. That ain't too shabby. Speaking of glue, uh, we've had to take glue off of just order it when you want to online because of the t dropping temperatures uh, it looks like for the next couple of days it's going to be too cold for us to ship it no matter what the temperatures are where you are and if you're not aware art glitter glue uh, cannot be shipped um, if the temperature is below 40 degrees anywhere in the path between us and you so uh, that is the uh, our agreement with art glitter glue that we won't ship it if it's too cold because it does not handle cold temperatures very well so we don't do that so if you need art glitter glue you will need to call the office um, or email us at info at com, and we can let you know if we can ship it to you uh, or if we can't i'm going to trim my picture down because 
I need a little more space to work with. So I'm going to take some of this top off up there and some of the bottom off. Just a little bit. Not into her feet. Just right to her feet. There we go. And that'll give me a little more space. Because what I want to do is I want to add some of this blue color. But I want to be able to keep my picture about right there. Yep. And then I want to add a strip of this blue to help my um, wagon pop off. Pop off the page. So let's cut this guy down to, what size is this? I always forget. Somebody has put their ruler in here that ain't mine. I can look at that ruler until that ain't my ruler. You want to see the difference? Well, that one still has numbers on it. Look how beautiful. Read. Look at this one. <laughs> look at the difference. <laughs> that one's been well loved. Okay, so how big is this dude? This dude is five and a quarter. Okay. So five and a quota. Fear of my dad is doing very good. He and my mother were able to make the trip with us to Texas, to Arlington, uh, for Decorator's Warehouse. And they uh, got to visit with our my son and, and granddaughter and their grandson and great-granddaughter uh, while we were there in Texas. So it was a long trip. We split it into two days so that it wouldn't be uh, too tough on them riding that far. Uh, but we had a great time. And uh, they were able to attend the second session that we did there at Decorator. So it was a good day. I want to add something else, but I don't know what. I think I want hay. Hmm. I'm going to get fancy. Would you look in that door? Fancy? And get my branch punch. Oh, it may not be in here. There's one. That's not the one I'm looking for. Of course not. That'll do, though. You think? I think I can make it work. Let's see. I don't really know why I want to do this, but I'm going to. I'm going to try. Here we go. Some craft. Let's just see what happens. They may have my little one. Ooh. Let's just see if I can make that work. Oh, that's kind of cute. I just want something behind it. Yeah, that's cute. Just for texture. I think that works. I think that works. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you're doing you. Who do you sound like when you do that? Is that Emerald Lagasse that does that? He used to do, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Was that him? I think so. So too. See, just something to give it some texture and help it pop off the page. That's kind of cute. And I might even cut some smaller ones. Let me do another one. Let me do another one. My nose is itching. What does uh, that Tina, mean? we have four children. Uh, and my mate didn't give birth to any of them. <laughs> So uh, we have my two boys from a previous relationship, uh, Jared and Josh. Jared is 27, 28. I don't like to think about it anymore, so I just let it go. 91, so 28. <laughs> and Josh is 23. And then we have two boys that are our nephews that we have custody of. Thomas, who is 19, and Joe, who is 15. So we have four boys. Um uh, and they're all ours. They don't know otherwise. Neither do we. Neither do we. All right. I'm going to stick some of these guys in the back. Because I think they'll be cute to have some hay coming out of there. It's not hay. But it just gives me some texture. Gives me the feel of hay. Hey, girl. Gives me the feel of it. Hey. Yeah, that's cute. Miss Jones said your project is branching out. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Miss Jones. She's the queen of puns. You know, it'd be cute to put antlers on this pumpkin. Antlers? Yeah, and make it look like a deer. Like, put a face on it. You might be overstepping. Well, you might think that. One might think that. All right, I'm going to glue this guy down. Glue it down. Is it, here. what stamp set is this one that you're using? Wheelie Full Wagon. The Wheelie Full Wagon. Um, if it is out of stock, Donna, it will be coming back. Yes. I haven't checked today on stamp sets yet. I should have looked before I used it, but some of you guys probably have it. Probably a lot of you guys, cause it was extremely popular when it came out, which hadn't been out very long. Yes. Josh is a pretty good sized boy to be kidnapping. He is a big boy. Who wants to kidnap Josh? Uh, let's see. Rhonda said, I'd kidnap Josh, but he's bigger than I am. He's a big old boy. 
<laughs> what does your shirt say you got from that jerky place in um te- in Tennessee? It says fat people are hard to kidnap. <laughs> Josh is not fat, but he's big. So. Yeah, it's hard Funny. to tuck six five into a suitcase or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny when we were in Texas I don't rem- I don't um so when you have tall children I want to see if anybody else is this way people aren't as tall to you as they really are you know what I'm saying like you are used to people being tall so you're not sh- you're not shocked when you see tall people I mean unless they're extremely tall six foot five it's just normal because you walk around the house and you have that all the time you know and so I don't pay attention to it and I don't pay attention to the fact that Jared is so tall and so when we were in Texas and we were taking pictures, you stood next to Jared when he was holding Addie and I was taking your picture. And I remember thinking to myself, wow, Jared's tall. Because you're tall yeah. to me. You know, like I stand next to you and I look up to you. And you're probably what? About six one. But uh, five, five to six inches taller than me. But when you're standing next to Jared, then I realized just how tall Jared is. Yeah, him and, and Josh are big old boys. Yeah, and then when I came home, I was like, wow, he is this is cute. I like this. I was going to ink it, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I need to. I am going to use some Scotty. Beam him up. Hello, Scotty. I've been missing you, Scotty. That's, that's my Scotty accent. I heard that. Scotty. A Scottish person is going to watch this and be very mad at me about that accent. Wow. <laughs> what? Don't Jaylene leave me out. is coming from Illinois to open house. Yay! From where? From Illinois. Mmm. Is it though? Illini. How do you want me to say it? Is it Illinois? I like it. Illinois. You're going to get corrected in the comments. I don't care. <laughs> I am who I am. We talked about that the other day. I put a little um, art glitter glue on the back of Scotty just because I want this to last on him. Look how cute that is. I might need to trim that one back a little bit. Well, let me do that. Let's trim. Do a little trimming. Yeah. Do the haircut. A little hedge clipping and maybe add you over here instead. Let's do that. Put you there. Let's see if I can make this one fill in, too. I just think that's cute on there. Stick you right there. Oh, yeah, I like this. Yeah, so anyway, you don't realize how tall people are if you got tall people in your house. Is anybody else like that, or is it just us? Because we were talking at lunch today. Thomas had mentioned that when we were getting our eyes examined one time, the girl in the um, contact lens place was six seven. Was she six seven, something like that? And Thomas was laughing because he said, "Yeah, Meme didn't say how tall are you because we hear that all day long because having tall kids." Instead, I said, "Okay, listen, I already know the other answer." I said, "How many times a day does somebody ask you how tall you are?" She's like, "Constantly." I said, "Yeah, we get that too, so I already know that part." Okay, Randy said, "There's no noise in Illinois." See, I apologize. For <laughs> Told you you're gonna get corrected properly. I told you. No, I do it too. You know, I say Illinois, and there's another one that has, another state that has something silent in it, and I don't do it right. I can't remember what it is, but there's another one. I better glue this little arm down, because I cut him pretty thin. What is it that my mother says? Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, she says Michigan. And oxygen. Oxygen. She actually says oxygen harder than oxygen. Like, she makes it harder to say. Y'all, I love how this turned out. This is really cute. Does it need something? Y'all know this is what, do we all do this now? What does it need? What does it need? I think it looks adorable just like it is. I think it needs Baker Swan. (laughs) (laughs) Everything needs Baker Swan in my world. Oh, it does. But where do I want to put it? Let's make a little bow and see what we can do with it. Am I the only person that thinks it needs Baker Swan? Yeah. I'm a big Baker's Twine fan. Speaking of, in the Crafter After Show, I'm going to show y'all something I got an idea for. I was out shopping at Rustic Relics, where I spend most of my time, which I haven't been to in seven days. I'm having withdrawals. How about on the top of that pumpkin? That might be fun. That might be too big. But I saw something, and I ordered um, the stuff to be able to make it. Because the one they had was not exactly like I wanted. The one, I'll show y'all later, but the one they had was not the right color for me. And I was like, I could make this. And y'all always tell me if I'm going to make something. Y'all want the stuff to make it too. So I went ahead and got you some too. In the store anyway. Okay. What about the bow on the pumpkin? Is it too much? What do you think, Mim? Should it be over here on the handle? Hmm. Maybe down here on the knot? On the bend? 
I don't know. Maybe over here, over October, under the bottom of the picture. You know, I could get away with it over there. I don't really like it too much on the wagon. You think somewhere like that? I probably should have ran ribbon, uh, ran it underneath beforehand, but I didn't. So let's cheat it. Anastasia's birthday was October the 4th. Well, happy birthday, Anastasia. I love the name Anastasia. Anastasia. Hmm. Okay, we're really going to have to cheat it. Okay. So does she need a shout out? Do I need to warn everybody she needs a shout out? If you're going to do it, you have to warn everybody. Okay, if you're currently wearing your headphones, you might want to ease them off your head just a touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that long enough? Yes. Happy birthday, Anastasia! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she's Anastasia or Anastasia now. Well, I mean, she got what she got. So. She got it. She got her shout out. How do I say Arkansas, Arkansas. even though it looks like Arkansas. Arkansas. Is that how you say it? Arkansas? No, I say Arkansas. Yes. All right, here's what I'm doing. I'm cheating it by putting my own holes in, or putting holes in, and then I got to show y'all something that I, I think got. that's what I was saying too, Bonnie. I think the, the twine bow blends in too much with the wagon and everything if you set it over there on the side. I wasn't That's supposed it. to show y'all this yet. You this really is a sneak wasn't. peek. These are in the store, though. I think. So you guys know that I love my dental threader. Let me show you. Okay. By the way, right now, there's 18 of these. There's more coming, but we only have 18 of these if y'all want to go grab them. Okay, look. Y'all know I love my dental threaders that I get from the drugstore, and I use this to thread my twine, but I lose these. Now, I have this little container, and I keep them for a while, but I lose them every time I use them. So, late night one night, I was on one of our distributors, and I found this, which is for beading. It's not for paper crafting. It's pull cords and yarn through any tight um, squeeze without snags. That's what this is. It's called the Easy Beater, okay? And what I love is I'm not going to lose this one. <laughs> I was in love. So here's what happens. I can poke this through the hole I made. Look. And I can thread anything through it. I dropped my twine. Like, I could not believe I found this. I was so excited. So then all I have to do is feed this through here easily, right? And then pull it through. Look at that. And I won't lose my threader anymore. Like I said, there are 18 of these in right now. That's all that came in. But Vince has already ordered more because I know. And this is going to be something we will keep in store as long as we can get them because I will use this over and over and over again. Look at that. And I don't have to buy those dental threaders over and over again. That's pretty cool tool. Were you excited about this? You didn't know what this did, did you? Well, I mean... I could logically figure out what it did, but I mean, I'd never seen one before. Love it. So I'm going to put it over here in my little container. That's what I love about it too. It's a tool and I love tools. Y'all know I like tools. All right, back here, I'm just going to tape this down because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the back of this with another piece of um, cardstock so I can write on it. Where's my scotch tape? I thought I had some in here. I thought I had, I do. Scotch tape. Right here. All right, so back here, I'm just going to pull this through and tape it down. Like a so. Same here. And then I'll put another piece on top of this. I probably should have tied this all the way around, but I like that. Oh, it's cute. Okay, then I'm just going to put this little guy on here. Now it'll make sense because there's some underneath it too. I just didn't want it floating on nothing, you know? It needed to be in something. So how do you say Worcestershire or Worcestershire? Worcestershire. 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 <laughs> Actually, I say, what's this here sauce? <laughs> I say Worcestershire. How are you supposed to say it? I've heard that said a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to let that sit and dry. I just used some art glitter glue to put my bow down. And that is October's pitch Done. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah. Do you love it's awesome. it? It's so cute. Hey, Rhonda says it's Worcestershire. <laughs> That's how it's spelled. Love it. Okay. So, oh, I locked my punch up. Okay. There's that. I'm going to bring my calendar back over just Jeannie, to show y'all. Jeannie says she says Worcestershire. 
I guess I just say Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Okay, this is what this is going to look like. But since the bow is drying, it's got a little dollop of glue on it. Um, do you know if, if Christopher has a, a stamp sleeve for the six by eight stamp, something that big? I don't think he has it yet. I think it's. I think he has just other sizes. Ask, well, how do you store yours? My six your by eight. Ones? My six by eights. I just keep like this. Like here's one. I just keep them like this, and I put this on the like so I can see it better. And I just keep these in the containers they came in, and I I keep mine in a shoebox kind of thing, like the little shoe boxes. They stand up in there. But that's probably going to be changing soon. You guys will see that. I'm, I'm trying to work on some new... Um, I love this page. It's cute. I'm working on some new um, storage in my office, in my in my craft room. So you'll be seeing all that stuff coming later. I'm working on a bazillion things. Y'all can't even know. <laughs> a bazillion things. Like, and we can talk about it in the Crafter After Show because that's where we talk about whatever we want. But we have a there lot of go. stuff going. And we might want to talk to you, but you might want to hear some of it because it's a lot that's happening. So... All right, what all is being said here? Are we caught up pretty much? Dora said they've had five inches of snow in the last two days in Wisconsin. D said anything shire, we tend to say sheer. So in the UK, so Staffordshire. Is that right? Like Staffordshire? Because there's a China that's called Stafford, Staffordshire. <laughs> yeah, that's where I get it from. Justin Wilson. What's this here sauce? Do you remember him? Yep. I love Justin Wilson. We watched a guy in Texas that reminded me a lot of um, Justin Wilson. Did that guy on that show remind you of him? The guy, oh, yeah, a little bit. He did. He reminded yeah. me of him. It wasn't him, but he reminded me of it. Okay, All right. The question about Art Glitter Glue is that Art Glitter Glue is in, but we can't ship it. So uh, it's too cold here in Alabama this week for us to ship it. Uh, so it is not available to be purchased online because it can only be shipped if temperatures are above 40 degrees. So um, if you want to call the store or email us at info at mymymatic.com, we can let you know uh, when and if it'll be available to be shipped to your area. I'm pretty sure uh, Amber keeps kind of a list of folks that are looking for it, and I think she does. I could be saying I should uh, something I shouldn't, but I think she, Amber does a really good job of making sure you guys get your glue when you want it. So it is a little harder, but fortunately, Art Glitter Glue let us do that. They used to not let us do that. It used to be, nope, this is it, can't get it. But now they let us do this way because a lot of times people who live in Florida or Georgia or Tennessee or Mississippi that are right here at us, a lot of times we have temperatures we can ship it. We have a window of time, you mm -hmm. know, but sometimes we don't. Okay, let's do this. Let's head to the Crafter After Show so we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. Shannon just posted the link so you can just click it there and head on over. Look. Um, Carol says she loves this page so much. I do too. I love this page. And we weren't even going to have our picture made, but Samantha made us have it made. Have you got time to do one more flip through? Yeah. Y'all want to see it again? Do one okay. more. All right. Do I need to explain how this works? What this is? I would. You're going okay. to do it right. So here's what this is. This is my desk calendar turned mini album. It stands up. I'm probably too zoomed in. Let's come out a little. It stands up like this when it's closed as a mini album. And I'll be doing the cover. I probably will do the cover in January. That'll probably be what we do since, um, well, I will have a December page. I'll probably do the cover either when I do my December page yeah. or January. Because I will be, I didn't know what I wanted to put here, so I just used neutral colors. But this is magnet. There's a, a video showing you how to do this start to finish so easy. And then here's every page. There's January and there's February. And if you want to hear the stories of these, when we are not live, come back and watch it again. Because I explain all of these pictures in the beginning of this live. And look, there's May and there's June and there's July and there's August and there's September and there's October. October is my second favorite page. It's very cute. Yeah, I love it's very it. Cute. I uh, love it. We will have art glitter glue available during open house. So um, I forgot something. Okay. Let me show you this. So I will close this one, and November will then stand on my desk until the end of November, and then we'll put a picture here. Okay. And it's like a hot. Oh, and this, by the way, I'll come back and put paper over this that I can journal on. And I am going to go back and journal. I'm bad about journaling. That's the part I'm not good at. I have journaled a couple of pages, like the first two, but I'm bad about journaling. But I do want to come back and journal before it's off of my mind because I do love it. So now what I do, I got my October page done and I just magnetize this guy back together like so. And then he'll sit back over here in my spot and I'll be able to look at my November calendar. And at the end of the year, I have a highlight real mini album. Da -da. Some people are asking, is Vinny's Vittles going to have some holiday recipes? 
Vinny's Vittles did promise last year that he would do fruitcake cookies. So he's going to try to do that for sure. And I have one more idea that I may try to slip in. Let's go to Craft or After Show so we can talk about whatever we want. A lot of times, you guys don't realize this, but YouTube is doing something kind of new, not really new, but they put the link of the video in the thumbnail now, and that can deter people who only come for the craft, so I don't like to let this video go too awful long, and we're already 40 minutes in. So we're going to head out so folks can watch that calendar page, and just click on that link that was shared with you guys that you can go to the Craft or After Show, or give us just a second, and we'll be live right here on this page in just a second. All right, guys, I'm going to head over few. there. Love you. Love Bye. you guys. Bye.